YTPC, Padre Piper, coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube. To say hello, YouTube Pipe community, I hope you're doing well. In this holiday season, this holy day season, I, I hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you. Wanted to share with you today, or invite you to share with me, a movie and a pipe. Let me ask you a question. Any of you out there just enjoy kicking back and spending a few hours watching a movie? Maybe a old DVD, if you're old school VHS, uh, finding something on TV, uh, going to Netflix or Hulu and just getting into the movie, enjoying a pipe, and relaxing and the follow-up to that question is what about during the holidays any special Christmas or holiday uh, movies that you enjoy most and think about yourself uh, lighting a pipe and just kicking back and enjoying it and relaxing I encourage it now I want to tell you a little bit of a story about a movie I recently saw and I'm so glad I'm so glad I had patience and that's kind of the underlying message of this particular video today. Having a little bit of patience, being okay with waiting, because as the old cliche goes, good things come, good things come, good things, good, good things. Yeah, that's it, Padre. Good thing come, good, I'll get it. Good things come to he who waits. Mm. You know, sometimes I get a pipe, right? There's the charring light, and it's nice, but you know it's that second light that's gonna be so fulfilling, giving in the flavor, keeping the pipe moving and lit, usually, unless you're talking too much like I tend to do. Mm. A little bit of house clearing or cleaning. Mm. That's tasty. Or housekeeping, however you wish to refer to it. I am smoking some Cornell and Deal Red Virginia Ribbon, a Red Ribbon Virginia, I forget the order. I think it's Red Virginia Ribbon. And this is one of the first, this is probably only the second time I've actually had this blend. And I've actually got some baking at the moment. I'm doing a little experiment and following along with Road Glide Sully's um, uh, stoving techniques. And I've got some in the oven right now to, to stove this Red Virginia. And I bet you it's gonna come out good because it's already good without the stoving. And what am I smoking it in? Keeping up with the, the house cleaning. This is a uh, Mr. Brog. It is a pipe that I, uh, acquired over the summer in a trade that my old eyes and this bad lighting can't really tell you what the model is uh, but I've got a video up somewhere where I uh, traded this uh, for some some tobacco over to get this brand new pipe from uh, the Bearded Piper and uh, smokes like a charm and I'm loving it. Mm. You know what else I'm loving? this time of the season. I got a Christmas card in the mail today. I've gotten plenty of them, but uh, this one really came a little bit as a surprise. Just nice to get. Merry Christmas. What I liked about it, it was signed, written a little, little note written to me, but it was signed by our good friend Ghost Cobb. 
and the YTPC, but he not only signed it, his whole family signed it, including Macy. And you say, well, who's Macy? Well, Macy is his puppy. And that dog is just something else. And tis the season for the entire family, including our furry friends. You know, uh, this is supposed to be the season of joy. We, uh, we lit the third Advent candle in the liturgical Christian church this past Sunday, the Sunday of joy. Uh, and the reality is this time of the year is not always all that joyful for some people. For some people, you know, they're going through a season uh, for the first time where they're going to be without a loved one over the holidays. And um, that's what made me, this card made me kind of think about that because uh, Macy signed it and this is going to be my first Christmas without my puppy Annie in a, in a long time. Uh, I rejoice in the memories I have of her. And it's also going to be not just puppies, it's also going to be my first Christmas uh, without my dad. He passed away very unexpectedly back in January, right after the close of the last holidays. And so uh, it's just, it's just you know, one of those times of the year. Sometimes people are not all that joyful this time of the year. In fact, they can be a little bit sad, and we, we need to be um, aware of that. Keep an eye out for that, and uh, bring comfort and peace when we can, uh, at any time we can, to, to, to folks in our community. But here's the beauty. This is what I want to really get at. I saw this movie, and I'm glad what I did was I stuck out the first few minutes of it because I found the first few minutes to be a little bit on the slow-moving side. Let me tell you the name of the movie. It's a 2018 made-for-Netflix movie called The Christmas Chronicles, and I highly recommend it. If you've got Netflix, give it a look. See, I'm just wanting to try to keep this pipe going because mm, I'm enjoying this so much. So just pardon me a moment. I'm going to tamp and puff. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the beginning of the movie, for my taste anyway, was a little bit slow. But again, I tell you this, I am so glad I didn't give up on it that I stuck it out all the way through because it picked up, it picked up good, and it turned out to be an incredible Christmas movie. And, uh, you know, I was going to give you a, a top list of all my favorite Christmas movies. I'll just run them down real quick. No particular order. White Christmas, gotta love that one. Christmas Vacation, gotta love that one. Uh, what else do I like to watch this time of the year? How about... Mm, how about Die Hard? I think that's my number one Christmas movie. Now, I know that doesn't fit the traditional genre. But as far as I'm concerned, it ain't Christmas until you've watched Die Hard. Until you've seen Hans Gruber falling from the top of... Uh, what is it? Yakasami. I always mispronounce that. Towers. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yippee ki yay. Mm. But the Christmas Chronicles turned out to be one of those movies that if you can just get through the beginning where it's kind of setting things up and there's a little part in there where we're introduced to an entire family and then very early on you recognize as they've kind of progressed through the years of different Christmases within the first five or ten minutes. You're up to modern times, and there's a particular character uh, from the earlier uh, Christmases that's no longer with the family. And uh, again, that just kind of fits with that theme that not everybody is having the joyous of Christmases. But if you can take it from that point forward, get past a little bit of that melancholiness, I think, that... that um, the beginning of the movie brings you. You get a lot of joy and pleasure out of the entire movie. So I say all of that to say this. The other night, I made a post here on Facebook. I'm sorry, on uh, YouTube. Not a video post, but more like a Facebook or a Twitter post. I tweeted something. In fact, I'm relatively new to that. I don't know how long it's been since YouTube's allowed its users to do that. But you can. You can make a text post and apparently it pops up in your subscriber feeds. And so what I said in that post was that I wanted to do a giveaway, a special giveaway, 
just for my subscribers. So you might have noticed there's no reference to a giveaway in the title of this video. There's really going to be no reference in the uh, seller down below, although I'm going to have some information there for you. But why? Why am I keeping it a secret? No, not really. But what I want to do is I want to make this really just for my subscribers. And I suspect that my subscribers have hung with me for the first 10 minutes of this video. And if you've hung with me for the first 10 minutes and you're not a subscriber, you're probably going to want to go ahead and uh, click that subscription button because you're going to want to be a subscriber because that's one of the keys for being qualified for this giveaway that I talked about in that little post the other day. Now I realize people can go on Twitter and Facebook and uh, Instagram and YouTube and say, hey, Padre's got this secret Santa giveaway going on as for his subscribers only. That's fine. Uh, do what you got to do. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. I'm just telling you, this is for the folks who hang out with me all the way through. And here's what you got to do. It's going to be real simple to be entered to, to win uh, the prize in this particular video. But before I tell you what you need to do to win, let me tell you a little bit of a Christmas story and then I'm going to get to some of the prizes. You know, one of the things about Christmas is we, we say to each other this time of the year, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. And the reality is in the Christian church, we've not reached Christmas. In fact, we don't reach Christmas until December 25th. Even though the radio stations have been playing Christmas music since Halloween. December 25th, and then it's not over on December 26th just because the radio stations stopped playing the Christmas music. Christmas is a season. Christmas Tide, as it's called, actually goes for 12 days. Remember that song, The 12 Days of Christmas? Well, the Christmas season lasts for 12 days. And here's where it comes to an end. It comes to an end on what's called King's Day, or sometimes it's called the Epiphany. And we hear that story uh, in the Bible, and it gets celebrated in the Christian church on January the 6th, which is the day of the Epiphany. Matthew's Gospel account in the second chapter tells us that after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east, those are the wise men, sometimes we mistakenly refer to them as kings, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and they asked, Where is the one who has been born, the king of the Jews? We saw the star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. But you... Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. From out, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to go to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. He's a liar. He didn't want to go worship him. He wanted him dead. He didn't want to share a rule with some other quote-unquote king because he didn't understand that this is the king of the universe. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of, catch this, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Now, those magi represent something in the scriptures. Jesus was born to be king of the Jews. He's actually king of the universe because he's the Messiah, the long-awaited redeemer. And these guys, these magi, are from the east. They're not Jews. They're Gentiles. In fact, they're probably um, Zoroastrian priests. But the fact is they're not Jews. They represent the entire world 
being brought to God, not just the Jews, the entire world, because they're from somewhere else. They're coming to Jerusalem, the holy city, in search of the king, the king, Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that to preach, although I'm a preacher, so you, you know, got to get it once in a while. I'm saying that because those three gifts, those come in the story of the church on the 12th day, after the 12th day of Christmas, right? That's King's Day, the Epiphany. So I don't want you to think Christmas is going to end December 26th. It actually goes for 12 days. And in fact, I'm going to tell you this. One or two days after we celebrate Christmas Day, probably the 26th or 27th, I'll know for sure soon, I'm actually going to do the drawing for the gift that I'm going to offer to my subscribers as a little thank you, a little Christmas gift for a lucky winner. And here's what I'm going to give away. I am going to give one lucky winner. You know, a few years ago, C&D released a seasonal blend. They called it Gold, uh, Golden Days of Yore. I'm going to give a tin of Golden Days of Yore to a lucky winner. But wait, but wait. If you could just wait. There's myrrh. That's a bad joke, I know. Wait, there's, remember I talked about the gold of Franken? Okay. You're also going to win, from a couple years ago, C&D released another of their seasonal blends called Corn Cob Pipe and a Button Nose. But wait, there's myrrh. You can see where this is going. All right, this year Cornell and Deal released another seasonal tobacco. They called it Jolly Old St. Nicholas. You're going to win all three of those. But wait, there's myrrh. You got to have something to smoke then. And so I'm going to throw in, in keeping with the corn cob pipe and a button nose, I'm not going to throw in a button nose. I'm going to throw in a corn cob pipe. But wait, there's myrrh. This ain't there no more. But good things come to he who waits. I'm going to throw in a tin. All these are unopened tins. This one's from McClellan. Their holiday spirit. And what's really cool about this is McClellan would release this every year and there'd be a date up here for the year. Look at this. What does that say? It says new edition. There's no year on it. Now this was released toward the end of McClellan's run last year. It's got a date down on the tin there. Looks like it was would have been July of 2017, if I'm reading that correctly. But the fact of the matter is, this would have probably been the stash that would have been set aside for this year's holiday spirit. It doesn't have 2018 stamped on it, but you're going to get that along with those other three tins, along, along with a corn cob pipe to enjoy those, uh, those little treats with. And I'm going to pull that after Christmas. So today, as I'm recording this video, it's only a week till Christmas. And you've stuck it through to the end, to this point in time. And I congratulate you on that. So here's what you're going to do. And I'm going to tell you, pay attention. Pay attention to the process. As you might have learned in the YTPC, whoever's paying attention and following the directions usually has a much better shot at being a big winner. So I'm going to invite you to go on over to my website, PadrePiper.com. You're going to find on that site a section called Padres Partners. Click on Padres Partners, scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to ask you to enter your name, your email address, and your favorite Christmas movie. I'm going to compile the results of that, find out what my subscribers think is the best Christmas movie out there, Maybe I'll do a top three or top five list based on that. And one lucky entrant, entry, entry person, contestant, is going to be declared the Christmas winner. And again, I think I'm going to do this yeah, probably December the 27th. I think I'm going to do it as a live video draw. But when you hit, make sure you enter all that information and you hit submit, okay? And that's going to take you over to a page 
go ahead and take your time and read that page. There's good reason for it. You wanna make sure that you get to that page because that page is going to let you know that you, you've done it. Once you reach that page, you'll know that you've successfully submitted your entry, okay? But go ahead and read that page anyway. I think it will behoove you to just be patient, take your time, go through it, read it. Good things come to the one who waits. Again, this is for my subscribers. You have to be a subscriber of the channel to be a winner. Obviously, all the other rules apply. You gotta be old enough to win this stuff. If you ain't, don't even enter. I don't have a problem shipping overseas. If you have a problem with customs, that's gonna be on you. If you're the winner and you, you live over on the island of Timbuktu, and Timbuktu says, oh yeah, you can have your package, but it's gonna cost you 500 Timbakis, or whatever their currency is, to get it out of customs. Folks, that's gonna be on you. I, I can't do anything about that. But there's gonna be a lucky winner who's gonna win all this holiday tobacco plus a corn cob pipe. And it's all because you are what make the YTPC so great. I love all of my subscribers. You're some of the, the greatest folks out there. I love that you chime in. I love that you watch. I love that you give thumbs up. I love that you, you leave me little notes. I love that you even watch out for my text or whatever those are called, tweets, posts, whatever, in the YouTube feed that are not uh, videos. And I, if I'm not mistaken, only my subscribers see those texts. So again, you had to get through this whole video to find out that this is pointing to a giveaway. So. You know, if you're not a subscriber or you're not interested in what I do, you probably haven't made it this far. We're trying to make this, perhaps, the smallest giveaway <laughs> in YTPC history. You know, just uh, at the beginning of the month, we had what I believe was the biggest giveaway in the YTPC. Uh, can't be quoted for sure, but a lot of people participated. And I want to thank Briar Report for making that happen and allowing me to host that. This one, however, it's going to probably be tiny because you had to get through this whole video. And I'm not, I'm not going to make any more videos about, hey, don't forget to be a contestant. Don't forget to go over to PadrePiper.com and Padre's Partners and fill that in and hit submit and then make sure you read that landing page. I'm not going to make any more videos about it. Uh, it's going to close out at 11.59 p.m. Christmas Eve night, my time. So once Christmas Day rolls around, that's getting removed. There'll be no more entrance allowed. And then a day or two after that, we're going to do a live video and we'll, we'll pull for that giveaway. Find out who the lucky winner is going to be. I'm telling you, good things come to he who waits. Here we are in Advent season. We're not yet to Christmas. It's a time of waiting. It's a time of expectancy. So take your time. Don't let the world rush you. Don't listen to all the messages of the world that are saying, you gotta buy this, you gotta buy that, you gotta give this away to this person. Ah, just slow down. Just slow down. Enjoy the moment. Just enjoy it. That's, that's really what this holy day of Christmas is all about. That's what this season of Advent that's pointing to Christmas is all about. Subscribers, I do thank you. You are the best. Padre Piper, wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings.